If you watch a magic show with suspicion about how the tricks are done, you won't be able to fully enjoy it. You can enjoy experiencing the amazing world of magic by simply following the magician's lead with a comfortable mind. I think it would be good for us living in 2024 to apply the same method of enjoying magic. Can I do it? Will it work out? What if I fail? If you start with these worries and doubts, you'll feel anxious and worried all year long. Since it's something we have to do and time we have to spend anyways, why not put aside doubts and worries about the outcome for a moment and enjoy the process? So, by the end of 2024, will we be able to feel that those times were enjoyable even if we don't achieve the results we wanted? We'll kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Han and Chan's Chan's featuring Peak Boy. Come on in, besties! I did not know my voice was so high-pitched! 
Um, welcome back to Radio Clock, everybody. It is January 8th, Monday, and I'm your host, DJ Ashley. A little bit of a good news before we start the show. The whole um, every Monday of this month, January, is going to be live. Woohoo! So usually we have um, every other week pre recorded because uh, somebody else uses our studio. But um, the whole month of January, we get the studio to ourselves. So I will be in the studio live every Monday for Tea Time Monday. How exciting, right? Okay. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, how was your weekend, everybody? Anything eventful happened? Let me know on the YouTube chat. Nothing absolutely eventful happened to me this um, weekend. I was in bed all the two days because I was feeling not well. I was not feeling like myself. So I was just in bed, ate a lot of dark chocolates, watched a lot of series. I did watch the show that Iris's boyfriend is in. Um, it was good. I don't know if it was the hormones, but... I bawled. I bawled like a little baby, like, because, <laughs> you know, it's about death. And like, sh I'm not spoiling anything. This is everything that Iris said. It's about death and going back and getting a chance to live 12 lives. And then, you know, you realize the importance of like, w you thought hell, you thought there was hell on earth. Trust me, you don't know what real hell is until you die and go to actual hell then you'll want to go back to earth um but yeah i would recommend it it was very gory but <clears throat> despite that the storyline i think it was pretty well made so if you're a fan of that kind of genre and if you're a fan of iris's boyfriend please go watch it it was worth it and my goodness i was so impressed at like what a good actor so Guk was i mean i knew he was a good actor because i watched reply 1997 but um i was like wow i totally forgot that he was a singer i was yeah i was like wait did he debut as an actor but no he actually debuted through the competition program but anyways um the, all the besties are saying, yay, ticket shirts is the opening changed. When did you do that? Um, no, it didn't change. I think we're having kind of like a um, uh, like a mechanical issue. They, they just they sped up all of the songs that we played so far. I don't know if you noticed, but even the opening, it, the opening BGM was like sped up. I don't know if it's the pitch or it was sped up, but I was like, whoa. And I felt like I had to like wrap my opening. But um, Tigger Shirts says, my weekend just started. I hope you're feeling better today. Thank you. I am. And yes, enjoy your weekend. Flo Flo says, me too. Except I went to Costco and Trader Joe's, read a few books, but thankfully feeling better. Excuse me. I want to have those grocery runs, especially at those big, huge, what do you call them? Marts? Yeah. We have Costco here, but not Trader Joe's. I wish they had Trader Joe's here. Ah. Okay, I'm going to read a message from one of our besties. It is from Lilzy. Uh, Lilzy says, have you ever heard of a person celebrating Christmas twice? No. Lilzy says, well, we do. And that's because my mom's country has their own way to celebrate Christmas, which is on the 8th of January, due to their own religion and also they have a unique way to celebrate it like they have their own santa but the part i'm excited about is the food gosh the food is just mwah. it has a lot of spices and some of it takes a whole day to cook like 15 to 20 hours but gosh it's worthy so not to go out of the topic it's not only christmas but also a new year um the also the new year is different there everything is different so i am lucky to live each holiday twice to feel your curiosity about the country it's ethiopia oh, merry christmas everyone wow please invite me to this party i'm free i mean not really but i would like to attend um i want to try these food that take like 15 to 20 hours you know it's gonna be good when that much love tender care goes into it Okay, um, so the song that they recommended is My Only Wish covered by Lisa from Blackpink, which I saw. It was a cover of Britney Spears' song, but unfortunately, we don't have it in the system. So we're just going to play another song by Lisa, La Lisa, and I'll be back with our Tea Time Monday guest. Mm -hmm. 
Download the Arirang Radio application. Type in A-R-I-R-A-N-G. Arirang Radio on your app store. Download it and listen to Arirang Radio. 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Seogipo City. 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Channel 144 on Sirius XM in the U.S. Arirang Radio. Tune in. Arirang Radio. Would you like a cup of tea? This is Tea Time Monday. Every Monday, we invite guests from different fields and ask more, ask more about their field of work and their job. And today, we have someone that goes by the title of a magic tainer. We have Ha Jae-yong in the studio. Welcome. Hello. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. Ha Jae-yong이라고 합니다. 안녕하세요. Hi. Hello, Can everyone. You... Hello. Please <laughs> go ahead. Introduce yourself in English. Uh, 전 사실 마술사라는 타이틀보다는 매직 테이너라는 타이틀로 활동을 하고 있거든요. Yes. 그게 뭐냐면 마술사와 엔터테이너를 합친 거예요. 
그래서 마술을 이용해서 굉장히 여러 가지 장르를 보여줄 수 있는 그런 사람입니다. Yes, he doesn't like just using the word magician because he's more of a magician plus entertainer and that is why you have magic tainer. I know you speak a little bit of English, right? Uh, very little bit. Very little. Yeah, Korean is more better. You, you lived in Australia for a little bit? No. Oh, where? No. 그냥 서울, 코리아. Oh, you've yeah. never, oh, you've never lived abroad. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought you lived abroad somewhere. English is really good. Really? Oh, thank yeah. you so much. But <laughs> <laughs> I really want to use Korean. Yeah, you can, you can. Oh, I just thought you, um, you know, you were kind of. You spoke it kind of fluently because your pronunciation was pretty good. But um, yes, magic tainer is that something you came up with? 그런 magic tainer 수식어를 네. 직접 만드신 거예요? 어 제가 직접 만든 건 아니고 저희 함께 일하고 있는 저희 회사 대표님께서 저한테 선물해 줬던 타이틀이에요. Oh, so it's 네. like the representative of his company came up with it and gifted that title to him. Mm-hmm. Magic tainer, I mm-hmm. like that. Oh. Okay, well, are you ready to start tea time with me? Yeah. Which tea did you choose? 어떤 티를 선택하셨어요? 저는 horse bean tea, 이 작두콩차라는 거를 선택했어요. 오, wow, horse bean. 근데 저는 이 작두콩차를 처음 마셔보거든요. 네. 근데 생각보다 되게 향도 구수하고 맛이 좋더라고요. 음. Mm. Horse bean tea. Yeah. Interesting. He says mm. he likes the um, he likes the aroma, and it's better than he expected. Um, if you guys have been tuning into Arirang TV for a long time, I think you have seen him before. He was a part of two programs on Arirang TV with our beloved Leah and also uh, Hani Jun, who was a guest at the same time as he was. This is like in 2016. It was a certain quiz program, and he also did Tour vs Tour, which was a travel. program in 2016 as well mm. that is him he was on the tv program mm-hmm. oh wow how does it feel being back in arirang after a long time uh, arirang에 오니까 뭔가 되게 고향 같은 느낌이 많이 들어요 mm. 왜냐면은 제가 지금도 사실 나이가 뭐 많진 않지만 저보다 지금보다 훨씬 더 어렸었을 때 이곳 아리랑에 와서 되게 색다른 추억을 많이 가졌거든요. 영어 프로그램을 방송한다는 게 그때도 되게 영광스럽고 좋은 기회였는데 오늘 이렇게 오게 돼서 너무 기쁘더라고 집에서 나올 때부터. Oh, he said he was like happy since he was home, excited to kind of come back to his stomping grounds. That's what he feels like. He was always excited about coming on Arirang Radio to be able to do a show in English and etc. So welcome. Welcome back. We welcome you with open arms. Um, but there have been uh, some changes since then. You're not just a magic tainer anymore. You work in a lot of different areas. Um, exactly how many different professions or jobs do you have, would you say? 지금 magic tainer라는 어, 직업에만 머물러 있지 않고 활동 어, 영역을 굉장히 넓힌, 넓히셨다고 들었는데 네. 몇 가지 일을 하고 계신가요, 지금? 지금 가장 메인으로 하고 있는 거는 이제 마술, 매직이죠, 매직 테이너니까. 그리고 그 다음이 제 유튜브 활동이랑 음. 그리고 인스타그램 같은 SNS 채널 있죠. 네. 그런 곳에서 굉장히 많은 모습들을 보여주고 있고 또한 공연도 하면서 와우. 마술을 여러분에게 선보이고 있어요. Yes, of 음. course, magic is his priority. 음. And then he's also working as an influencer and also has a YouTube channel and does a lot of performances. So very, very busy. So will we be able to see some magic today? I'm, I'm like looking forward to it. 오늘 그럼 마술을 네. 좀 직접 좀볼수 음. 있는 걸까요? 오늘 진짜 되게 재밌는 마술을 준비했거든요. 아마 <웃음> 한 번도 보신 적이 없었던 그런 형태의 마술일 거예요. 그래서 오. 진짜 기대하시면 좋을 것 같아요. Oh my God, he's making me s <웃음> Super, super excited. Yeah. He said he's going to show us magic that we've never seen before. It's going to be very exciting. So please look forward to it. All right. Mm-hmm. So how long has it been since you started as a magician then? 대략 한 15년, 16 years, maybe. 16 네. years? 네, 맞아요. Wow. When I was 9 or 10. You 그, were like, I'm going to be a magician? 네, 그때 사실 제가 내가 마술사가 될 거야 라고 했던 건 아니었거든요. 네. 그때 학교에서 왜 초등학교 그런 거 있잖아요. 전교 어린이 선거 mm-hmm. 이런 거에 제가 나가게 됐어요. 그때 부모님께서 야너 그냥 나가고 선거 이렇게 외우면 종이 들고 안녕하세요 뭐 기호 몇 번입니다 이러면 너 당선이 안 된다 뭐 <웃음> 네. 이렇게 말씀하셨거든요. 그래가지고 그때 
마술을 배워보라고 부모님께서 말씀하셨어요. Oh wow. So he was nine and it wasn't like um it was his it wasn't his dream to be a magician but he was running for like the president of his school. They had um 네. you know like a poll and his parents were like you're not going to win everybody heart, everybody's hearts just by bringing up a piece of paper and reading off of it. You got to do something and they were like why don't you show some magic tricks? 맞아요. And that's how he started. <gasps> and when you started learning Did you 네. like it right away? The 되게 pill- 재밌었던 게 뭐냐면 oh. 그때 제가 이런 거를 한번 보여드렸거든요. 네. 제가 지금 한번 간단하게 보여드려 볼게요. Okay, he's gonna show us 네. right now. 이렇게 빨간 색깔 손수건이 있었어요. 네. 그때 제가 안녕하세요, 뭐 기호 몇번 하재용입니다. 저는 빨간 손수건의 사나이예요라고 얘기를 했어요. 네. 그 다음에 빨간 손수건을 이렇게 주먹 안에다가 잘 넣어줬어요. 네. 이런 식으로 말이죠. 그 다음에 되게 중요한 신호가 있어요. 시그널을 주면은. 호호 이렇게 없어지는 거죠. 그리고 없어진 손수건은 다시 처음에 있었던 이 재킷 안에서 오~ 나오게 되는 그런 <웃음> 손수건이 사라졌다 나타나는 그런 마술이었어요. 와우. Wow. I mean for those of our radio listeners, I'm so sorry you're missing out on this, but he basically just had a red handkerchief, took it out of his coat. Put it in his hands, and then it disappeared from his hand and ended up back in his coat pocket. And I got to see it like right here, and there was no, no like suspicion at all. I couldn't like what that happened in the blink of an eye. Um, but our radio listeners, please make sure to watch the video version later when it comes out. And then, how was the response? 그때 다들 어땠어요 리액션이? 어 너무 신기하다. 그래서 친구들이 저만 보면 어. 빨간 손수건이다. 빨간 손수건이다. 이렇게 얘기하는 거예요. 아~ 그래서 나한테도 마술 보여줘, 보여줘. 막 이런 반응들이 너무 재밌어서 아, 나 마술 더 배워봐야겠다. 어, 다른 거 해봐야겠다. 사람들이 내 마술을 보면 이렇게 기억을 해주는구나. 되게 그때부터 마술을 시작해야겠다고 느꼈어요. 와, 그래서 그 그때 네. 나가셔서 1등 하셨어요? 1등이 아니고 몇등 했더라? 2등인가 해서 전교 어린이 총무했습니다. Oh, wow. So um, he was voted like the vice president of the school, second place, which was not bad. And uh, he said ever since then, all his students from school would see him and be like, hey, it's the red handkerchief guy, red handkerchief guy. And he was like, oh my God, they remember me by the magic trick I did. So he was like, I should officially learn magic. And uh, were your parents supportive of that? 이제 마술을 아... 정식으로 배워 보가, 보겠다고 했을 때 부모님 반응은 어땠어요? 막 초반에는 얘가 그냥 장난으로 마술을 하는 거겠지 이렇게 생각하셨을 거예요. 음. 근데 제가 점점 점점 더 배우고 더 배우고 오히려 학원까지 가게 되고 <웃음> 그 다음에 마술 컴페티션도 나가게 되고 와... 이러다 보니까 사실 고민을 많이 하셨던 것 같아요 부모님도 음... 마술을 쭉 해도 될까 공부를 하는 게더 낫지 않을까 하고. Yeah, I mean, they were a little bit concerned. They thought he was joking at first, you know. This was just like a little, like tiny little dream that was going to be temporary. But when he started going to academy and learning, and then when he started going into competitions, uh, their parents started getting a little worried. Like, oh, shouldn't he start? Stu- shouldn't he study instead? Can he do this for the rest of his life, etc.? So how do you officially become a... Magician. 네. Is there like a license? 그때 제가 2007년도인가 중학교 1, 2학년 때 대형 놀이공원에서 펼쳐지는 마술 대회 나갔거든요. 오. 그때 한 6, 700명 되는 분들이 <웃음> 앞에 있었어요. 근데 네. 부모님이 그때 같이 가셨는데 어 얘가 장난으로 하는 게 아닌가 보다. 한번 제대로 마술을 하게 해줘야겠다 이래서 그래 너 하고 싶은 대로 마술 마음껏 해 라고 이야기를 해주셨고 마술사가 딱 된다는 그런 프로페셔널한 루트는 없거든요. 오. 하지만 프로를 데뷔하는 게 네. 비용을 받고 페이를 받고 공연을 할수 있다. 그 정도가 네. 이게 프로가 되는 건데 네. 제가 중학교 3학년 때부터 그렇게 됐던 것 같아요. Oh wow. 네. So he was in his third year of middle school mm-hmm. and he enlisted in a pretty big competition. 네. There were like 600 people 네. um, participating in it and that's when he started become when he that's when he actually became like a professional magician like making money at that age. 네. So 그럼 중3 때부터 네. 고, 
그 마술을 통해서 돈을 버신 거예요? 맞아요. <웃음> 공연도 하고 대회도 <웃음> 나가고 그리고 방송들도 조금 조금씩 해나가면서 점점점 제 자리를 잡아 나갔던 것 같아요. 그러면 그돈 관리는 누가 해주셨어요? 어, 돈 관리 제가 했어요. 중3 때요? 네. 와우. 왜냐면은 벌었던 돈이 엄청나게 크진 않았거든요. 그래서 네. 제가 핸들링 할수 있을 정도의 돈이었어요. <웃음> 그래도 너무 대견한데요? 아 진짜요? 네. 아, 감사합니다. 그럼 부모님은 이제 막아 나한테 맡겨 이런 이렇게 안 하셨어요? 처음에는 어, 맡겨야 되나 이 생각을 했거든요. 네. 근데 부모님도 오히려 너가 관리해야 <웃음> 커서 더 경제적으로 관리를 잘할 수 있을 거야라고 얘기를 해주시더라고요. Wow, so wise. Um, I asked him to so who took 음. who took care of the finances, like the money, because he was young, only third year of middle school, but he was like he took care of it himself, because it wasn't like an insane amount of money. And his parents even were like, "You need to handle your own finances. Mm -hmm. So even when you grow older, you have that. You know, you know how to be financially responsible." Okay, okay. And there is no like license to be 네. like a magician, right? 따로 라이센스가 필요하지는 않습니다. Ah, you don't need it. 네, 네, But 네. you do. You know, in order to become 네. like a professional magician and 네. to be paid, 네. you gotta go in through a lot of competitions 맞아요. and like. Oh, mm. I see, I see. But then you majored in acting in mm. high school and mm -hmm. university. 네, 맞아요. 그래서 oh. 연기과를 나왔어요. 제가 고등학교랑 대학교를. 네. 왜 그렇게 선택을 했냐면 그렇게 생각했어요. 저는 마술이 단순히 마술만 이렇게 퍼포밍한다고 좋을 건 아니라 mm -hmm. 다양한 연기적 표현, 표정도 막 이렇게 네, 슬펐다가 웃었다가 막 이런 다양한 표정들 지을 수 있어야 되고 mm -hmm. 몸도 자연스럽게 이렇게 움직임을 또 가져갈 줄 알아야 되기 때문에 네. 연기를 배워야겠다 오. 생각해서 연기과를 제가 가게 된 거예요. 확실히 도움이 됐죠. 엄청나게 큰 도움이 네. 됐었어요. Yeah, I mean acting is a huge part of doing magic as well. I feel like because you gotta have you know this, these different facial expressions and you gotta know how to use your body and majoring in acting learning acting definitely helped with his magician career as well all right um if you guys have any questions or messages anything you're curious about for our guests today let us know on the youtube chat or the sends message board and we'll be right back after this song break by tomorrow by together txt's magic remember how we used to be so stuck in one place so cold Feeling like my heart just froze Nowhere to go, but no, nobody Suddenly you came through Making me make a move Nobody got it like you I can't look away, I can't Cause baby, you're a real one, real one Teaching me to feel something so strong We can reach out and grab it Oh, it's just like magic Feeling in touch, always a rush No one else has it Used to be so afraid, afraid of all the games we played, waiting around all day. Nowhere to go with no one, nobody Hoping someone will save me Till you called out my name Something in me just changed Got me away, got me Baby, you're a real one, real one Teaching me to feel something so strong We could reach out and grab it Oh, it's just like magic Feel your touch, always a rush No one else has it It's just like magic Oh, it's just like magic Giving me life
You guys are listening to Radio Clock with me, DJ Ashley, and our guest, a magic tainer today. His name is Ha Jae-yong. And uh, we have some comments from our besties. Tigger Shiro says, what kind of work does he get as a magic tainer? Uh, magic tainer, so what do you do a lot of 마술을 선보여 드리는데 네. 이제 막 마술도 주제들이 있을 거 아니에요. 그래서 음흠. 저는 가장 제가 무기로 갖고 있는 게 스토리를 이용해서 마술을 하는 거거든요. 오. 그래서 뭐 예를 들어서 오늘 제가 이따가 마술을 보여준다 그러면은 우리 애슐리와 함께 하는 것을 메인 주제로 마술을 보여줄 수 있는 거고. 네. 근데 제가 가장 메인으로 활동하고 있는 건 아무래도 마술이다 보니까. 네. 그 마술을 제가 이따가 선보여 드릴 건데 기대해 주시면 좋을 것 같아요. 오케이 오케이. 네. 그러면 공연을 할때 네. 어디에서 주로 많이 해요? 공연은 오, 보통 행사? 네, 행사. 아~ 아니면 제가 쇼. 저만의 쇼. 오케이, 그게 아마 저의 메인 무대예요. 아, uh, so he usually has his own shows or he gets invited to events to do his magic and his um, area of expertise is storytelling through magic which is exciting. When you do a show, how long do you do it for? Like is it like 1 hour, mm. 30 minutes? Maybe 90 minute. 90 or 19. 90. 19? 90, 90 네. 분이요? 90. Yeah. 90 minutes. That's pretty long. It's like a show. <웃음> 그럼 네. 처음부터 끝까지 계속 마술을 보여주는 거예요? 맞아요. 마술을 보여주는데 어떠한 주제가 있어요. 아, 하나의 주제가 theme. 있어서 아. 네. 그 주제를 이용해서 선보이는 거죠. 예를 들어서 하늘에서 과자가 내려온다면 네. 이라는 상상으로 한 시간 반 동안 마술 공연을 펼친 적도 있었고요. 어? 하늘에서 아니, 과자가 내려온다. 맞아요. 궁금하시죠? 아. 어떤 내용들인지. 네. <웃음> he usually has a certain theme for his show. One time he did a 90 minute show about crackers and snacks falling from the sky. 네. Very curious. I am intrigued. <웃음> What so hmm, <웃음> 게, 간단히 설명해 주시자면 뭐 어떤 게 있었어요? 그때? 그게 어린 시절에 네. 남자 아이와 여자 아이가 있었는데 그 석탄을 캐는 마이너 음. 그 마을에 있었던 친구들이었어요. 근데 네. 그 친구들이 서로 좋아하는데 음. 매일 매일 하늘에서 연기도 나고 막 뿌옇고 날씨도 안 좋고 되게 속상했던 거예요. 근데 우연히 남자 아이가 어떠한 마술을 하나 배워 와서 여자 아이한테 보여주고 나 너에게 마술을 선물해 주겠다라고 해서 하늘에 있는 모든 석탄 재들을 과자로 바꿔서 탁 내려오게 해 주는 그런 주제였어요. 허, 이거는 재영 씨가 직접 생각해 내신 거예요? 저도 조금 거예요? 생각이 있고 네. 그리고 연출해 주시는 선생님, 그리고 음. 이걸 만드신 극작가 마술사님도 계세요. 이렇게 서로 같이. 협업을 하는 거. 와우. 네. So it's not like um he thinks of these things all by himself it's a collaborative work mm-hmm. there's like a director there's like a st- someone in charge of the storyline and um yeah so it's it's collaborative mm-hmm. and it, that one was about these boys and girls living in a coal mining neighborhood mm-hmm. and the boy learning a magic trick one day and um, doing the magic trick for her and kind of turning all the coals and uh, f- um, like the smoke falling from the sky into snacks and candies that that is very sweet um so i i'm curious um everyone every magician do they kind of know the same tricks 그럼 모든 마술 하시는 분들이 네. 같은 트릭을 아나요? 다 아는 다 어... 아나요? 서로의 트릭을 아, 알죠? 이게 한 70% no 근데 어. 나머지 20% 아한 30%는 몰라요. 어. 이게 모르는 경우는 진짜 새로운 마술을 개발해서 음. 세상에 릴리스하면은 사람들이 아. 모르는 건데 네. 그것도 서로 연구해서 비밀을 찾아내고 그쵸. 막 이렇게 하는 거예요. 네. 진짜 아이디어 뱅크여야겠네요. 맞아요. 그러니까. 이게 신기한 게 마술사 분들이 보통 혼자서 마술을 하고 아이디어를 짠다라고 생각하실 수가 있는데 음. 그런 게 아니라 한 함께 협업을 하는 거거든요. Yeah. 마술을 만들어주는 분들이 또 따로 있고요. Mm-hmm. 마술 도구를 만들어주는 분들이 있고 oh. 트릭을 만들어주는 사람이 따로 있고 창작을 하는 사람이 따로 있고 공연을 하는 플레이어가 따로 있고 그래요. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely all teamwork. Um, you 
would think that the magician does mm-hmm. everything by himself, but there's a team of people who create magic tools, um, like props that the magicians use. There's a team who comes out with like ideas, and he is the performer. He is the face of it all, but there are many people who work behind the scenes that you wouldn't really know. And it's re- really important to be creative and to be an idea bank because you always have to come up with new magic tricks that other magicians are not doing. So what is like your signature magic trick? Do you have like a sig- 네. 제 시그니처 매직은 아까 말씀드렸던 스토리와 마술을 같이 엮는 거. 그게 저의 시그니처거든요. Uh-huh. 어떠한 패션이 주제다 그러면 패션 아이템들로 마술을 해내서 쭉 풀어 나가는. Uh-huh. 그리고 뭐 오늘 이게 레디 워클락이면 이 주제를 가지고 마술을 선보여 나가는 이렇게 스토리를 갖고 하는 마술이 저의 웨폰 무기입니다. 오, 그럼 혹시 오늘 보여 주실 수 있어요? 그럼요. 네. 보여 주실 수 있습니다. 네. 보여 주세요. 어, 지금 보여 드릴까요? 네. 어, 좋아요. 제가 지금 신기한 마술 하나 먼저 okay. 보여 드릴게요. He's going to show us a magic trick. <웃음> 제가 어젯밤에 네. 자려고 이렇게 누웠거든요. 네. 근데 눈을 감았어요. 어허. Uh-huh. He closed his eyes. 숫자들이 막 보이더라고요. Yeah, he saw numbers in front of his eyes while 네. closing his eyes to try to sleep. 맞아요. 그래서 눈을 떴더니 숫자가 다시 사라졌어. Okay, he opened his eyes and the numbers were gone. 어 이게 뭐지 하고 다시 눈을 감은 다음에 yes. 종이에 눈을 감은 상태로 그 숫자들을 막 제가 적기 시작했거든요. He closed his 네. eyes again and took out a piece of paper and started writing those numbers down. 맞아요. 그 다음에 그 종이를 봉투에 넣고 그 봉투를 여기 갖다 놨어요. And he put that paper inside an envelope and he's brought it here today. 음흠. Okay. 이 봉투는 여기에 30분 전부터 있었습니다. This 그죠? envelope has been here for 30 minutes before the show. Mm-hmm. It was there. I saw it. 네. 제가 휴대폰 계산기를 사용을 해볼게요. He's going to use the calculator on his phone. 네. Okay. 잘 보이시나요? 계산기. 네. We see it. 네. 이 계산기를 제가 지금 켰고요. Ashley. 네. Ashley, <웃음> when is your birthday? November 9th. November 9th. 9일. 그러면 119 써볼게요. Okay. 네. 119 썼고요. 그리고 yes. plus. a s h l e y Yes. Please tell me any three digit number. Three digit number. Yeah. Any three any digit three number. Any three digit number. Oh my gosh. Doesn't really? Matter. Yeah. Four five six. Four five six. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's so easy, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, is it? <laughs> okay. Four five six. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna give you this calculator for okay. you. Don't show it to camera. Okay. Only you look this calculator. Okay. Okay. Very important. Okay. Here you are. Okay, I got the phone yeah. from him. And then press plus. Plus. Yeah. Okay. And write your cell phone number, middle phone number. 휴대폰 가운데 네 자리 눌러 주세요. 휴대폰 번호를 지금 애슐리가 okay. 계산기에 쓰고 있습니다. I did. Yeah. Do I press equals? No. Okay. Press plus, please. Plus again. Yeah. Okay. And then 마지막 휴대폰 번호 네 자리 눌러 주세요. Did you know my number? No, I don't know. <웃음> <웃음> okay. Um, 네. Okay. 그리고 And plus plus. Ashley의 나이 써주세요. My 나이 or um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. International age or Korean age. Yeah, it's up really? to you. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then 네. last plus plus again. Any two digit number. Any two digit number. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I say it? No. Oh, okay. Um, Any two digit number. Okay. And then last times. Times. Three four. Three four. Yeah. Like thirty four. Yep. Yeah. Times thirty four. Okay. And equal, please. Okay. 어떠한 숫자가 나왔죠? Yeah. 그 숫자가 굉장히 길것 같은데 긴가요? It's long. It's six digits. Six digits. Yeah. 이 숫자를 카메라에 보여주실 수 있나요? Show 네. it to camera, please. Okay. I'm going to show it to 네. the camera. It's a six digit, six digit number now. 네. 우리가 절대 짜지 않았죠, 사전에. No, we've never we haven't rehearsed this at all. We didn't do anything. 맹세할 수 있나요? I I swear. 네. Yeah. Okay. <웃음> 자, Wait, 카메라에 보여드려요? 한번 보여 주시면 될것 같습니다. Okay, this is the number. 네. 어떤 숫자죠? 6 621 458 621 458 oh, very difficult 621 458 right yeah 우리 
여기 봉투를 한번 확인해 볼까요? Check the envelope. 네. There's no way this number is going to be in t h a t 재수는 아무것도 없고요. 네. 이 봉투를 가져와 보도록 하겠습니다. Okay, he's going to bring the envelope. Don't do anything suspicious. 안 합니다. Don't do anything fishy. Yeah, nothing, Don't nothing. Don't try anything. 좋습니다. Okay. 이 봉투를 그대로 열어 보도록 할게요. Okay. Don't do anything. I'm Six watching you. 61458. 맞았죠? Yes. Okay. 봉투에 있는 숫자 제가 어젯밤에 쓴 숫자 확인해 보게 되면 This 놀랍게도 This is the number that he wrote yesterday in his dreams. In his what? Six two one four five eight. 정확하게 일치하게 되는 놀라운 마술입니다. <웃음> Stop. <웃음> 근데 제가 이 애슐리의 넘버로 마술을 했잖아요. 네. 애슐리의 생일로 마술을 하고 애슐리의 휴대폰 번호, 애슐리의 숫자들을 이용해서 제가 마술을 보여드렸죠. Yeah. 이 숫자는 애슐리의 숫자입니다. Okay. This, This is, is my you, number. 네, your yeah. number, Ashley. You know what? 왜냐하면 Why? 이 종이를 뒤집어 보게 되잖아요. 이 숫자가 yeah. 뜻하는 바는 바로 Oh my God! A S H L E Y. What? 바로 Ashley가 되는 마술이었습니다. Wait, I'm. 감사합니다. Let's clap for him first of all. Okay, 일단 너무 신기하니까 박수. 네? 네? 이게 어떻게 Ashley. 가능한 거예요? Wait, what? Ta-da. Wait, Ashley. how did you know that this would be the number? How did you know 네. it's going to be? 왜냐하면 이게 애슐리의 숫자들을 다 더하고 곱했기 때문에 이 애슐리라는 이름이 나오는 yeah, 겁니다. Yeah, I was like, 그 글씨체, I was like, why is it written like that? I was wondering, like, why the font was kind of silly, but then there was 네. a reason. This is for you. This is present for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like when he asked for my birthday, I was like, okay, that's on neighbor. Like mm-hmm. he could have known that. But then I I typed in the two digit number and yeah. three digit number out yeah. of my head, and mm-hmm. then <laughs> mind blown magic. I'm mind blown. 지금 댓글도 yeah. everyone's like that was too cool, dude. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Wow, 대박이다. Wow, wow. thank you, everyone. Wow, I very appreciate it. Okay, I cannot okay. hide my amazement right now. Let's listen to a song. Mm-hmm. I need a little break here. Okay, this is Zaya on the track with Mr. Potter.
Did you give him my number? <laughs> she <laughs> she didn't. didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> I was like, during this whole song break, I was like, am I, am I that obvious? Like, am I that bonhead? Like, am I... Like, how? how? But Ashley got to, Ashley got one and two and three and three and three and three. I know, I did. So, the phone number is not a trick. So, what does it have to do with it? So, what does it have to do with it? This is just magic tainer's magic power. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't want to know how he did this. But, um, you know, this is like his weapon, um, you know, get, try, coming up with a magic trick and mm -hmm. linking it to the, linking the story to the person. Like, so mm -hmm. this was my number. And then he also linked it to my name, which is amazing. And you wrote this like before the show. 네, like, you knew... 밤에 진짜 딱 눈을 감았더니 숫자가 보여서 제가 쓴 거예요, 진짜. Like you knew that I was going to yeah. say 621458. 맞아요. <웃음> Chris Jesus math magic is awesome, shows a quick mind and logical thinking. Mm -hmm. Really? I I'm so confused. I mean, I mean as professional yeah. and um skilled as you are, mm -hmm. I'm sure in the beginning when you were just starting, mm -hmm. you um you know, maybe got nervous in front of a big crowd 네, and 네, 네, maybe 맞아. made a mistake. So mm -hmm. what happens if you are performing and you make a mistake? What ha 예전에, has that happened? 네, 그런 적 있었어요. 제가 그 하늘에서 과자가 내린다면이라는 그 공연을 했었을 때 무대에서 바지가 터진 적이 한번 있어요. 바지가 찢어진 거예요. Oh, once he was performing 네. and his pants ripped. 네. Okay. 심지어 그 찢어진 게 진짜 크게 찢어졌거든요. 한 네. 30cm 정도. 네. 그때 바로 무대 뒤로 들어가서 옷 갈아입고 나와서 아, 제가 사고가 있었습니다. 옷을 그래서 갈아입고 나왔습니다라고 얘기를 했었어요. Oh, 네. so he, his pants ripped like 30cm. 혹시 뭘 하다가 찢어졌어요? 사람을 자르는 마술이었거든요. 그래서 uh -huh. 사람을 다 자르고 미녀가 땅 다시 나왔다 싶어서 이제 다시 미녀를 인사시켜 드리고 들여보냈는데 그 와중에 그 도구가 크잖아요. 큰데 뾰족한 곳에 제 바지가 걸려서 드르륵 찢어진 거죠. Oh, so 네. it was one of the magic tricks where you um, put the swords in and you know they get they become like beheaded and their body parts you know get 맞아요. separated 네. and then in the end he was like oh uh, she's back and 음. then his pants caught on the thing and then it ripped 네. was there any time when you're mad when you made a mistake with your magic trick mm -hmm. magic 하면서 실수한 적은 있었어요 마술 하면서 실수한 적도 굉장히 많았어요 음. 왜냐면 어쩔 수 없이 이게 뭐 1시간 30분 정도의 공연을 쭉 끌고 가는 거다 보니까 음. 중간에 사람이라면 실수를 할수 있게 되거든요. 네, 근데 그렇죠. 여기서 되게 신기한 게 뭐냐면 마술사들은 실수했을 때 어떻게 대처할지를 미리 그것도 다 계산을 해 놓습니다. 아, so magicians you always have to calculate what you're going to do. Like you always have a plan B 맞아요. just in case something goes wrong and they calculate 네. that beforehand. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. You must oh my god, after the mid hour and 30 minutes of the show 네. your brain must be fried you 맞아요. must be so exhausted <웃음> 공연하기 전에도 머리가 터질 것 같고 공연할 네. 때도 계속 생각해야 되니까 어 이거 어떻게 해야 되지 어떻게 해야 되지 하고 공연 끝나면 oh 새로운 마술의 수정을 해야 될 거를 또 생각해야 되니까 또 터질 것 같고 and you also have to keep a poker face the whole time because you're performing 딱, 네. 
<laughs> so many things going on at the same time. Wow. He was like, yeah, my brain has fried before and during and even after. That is crazy. Um, I mean, we talked about him, uh, you know, being a magic tainer, but yeah. I did mention in the beginning, he's also active as a YouTuber and influencer. Yeah. And you have your personal YouTube channel with yeah. over 250 videos. Yeah. Do you edit it? and film it yourself? 네, 직접 하고 있습니다. Wow. 네, 직접. How do you have the time? 어, 이게 촬영하고 편집하는 게한 8시간 정도 걸리더라고요. 네. 그래서 일주일에 하나씩 영상이 올라가거든요. Mm -hmm. 그리고 일주일에 세개 정도 짧은 영상이 올라가요. 네. 그러면 네 개를 해야 되는데 하루에 잠자고 편집하고 연습하고 이게 다 가능하더라고요, 해 보니까. 와. 네. 왜냐면은 저보다 더 유명하시고 더 대단하신 분들도 유튜브에 직접 본인이 촬영하고 편집하는 분들도 많더라고요 요즘에. 음. 근데 그런 분들을 보면서 나는 왜 저분들이 나보다 더 뛰어나고 더 많은 업적을 이뤘는데 나는 왜 못해? 내가 하지 뭐 이렇게 해서 제가 하게 된 거죠. Yeah, so he um, he takes about eight hours to edit a video, mm -hmm. uh, but he makes sure to practice magic and also film and edit and upload weekly because he sees other um, huge YouTubers editing their own stuff. He's like, why? I should be able to do it as well. What is your MBTI? Yeah, 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 can I guess? Oh, oh, 지금 잠깐 앞에 몇 개. Well, 들었죠? I know you're an E. <laughs> 아, you're definitely an E, but. Oh, yeah. um, Ah, uh, wait, Ian, Ian, Ian TJ. Oh, that's right. Ian TJ. <laughs> 네 맞아요. <laughs> what is your MBTI actually? Guess. You're guess. a magician. Uh -huh. You can guess this. <laughs> wow. I think this is my mistake. <laughs> I'm uh, E too. I'm E. 이거 끝에 제일 것 같아요. 무조건. I'm opposite of you. 네? Except the E. E 말고 다 반대예요. 어 oh, 진짜요? 네. I'm ESFP. Wow. Yeah. 전혀 안 그렇게 보이는데. Oh really? 네. Yeah. 저는... 엄청 계획하고 막 그런 no, 것 같은데. No, I was listening to you. I was like, 네? oh, like eight hours, like editing. No. <웃음> 와, 대박이다. 네. 네. 저도 제이가 되고 싶어요. 저도 그래서 네. 저는 유튜브 한, 영상 하나 올리는데 한달 네. 이상 걸려요. 어, 한달 이상. 네. <웃음> <웃음> okay, anyways. 네. Um, and I know you're also very interested in fashion. You're 네. into fashion as well, right? You make fashion related content. 맞아요. 그래서 오. 제가 패션 콘텐츠도 유튜브에 많이 업로드하고 있고 음흠. 패션에 대한 뭐 트렌드 팁 같은 것도 소개해 드리고 있거든요. 오. 패션을 어렸을 때부터 진짜 좋아했어요. Mm, he was into fashion ever since he was young too and he gives you a lot of fashion tips on his YouTube channel so make sure to subscribe to his channel. What is your channel name? Magic Tainer 하재용 검색해 주시면 나옵니다. Magic Tainer 하재용. 네. Do you have any plans for um, performances this year? 올해 공연 계획 있으신가요? 사실 제가 지금 공연을 새로 만들어 보고 있거든요. 네. 새로운 콘텐츠, 새로 나만이 할수 있는 매직 테이너 하재용만이 할수 있는 공연을 지금 만들고 있는데 제 마음으로는 한 7월 정도에 그 공연을 올릴 수 있으면 좋겠다라고 생각하고 있어요. 음. 아마 maybe okay. probably hoping that <웃음> 네. he can um, you know set his own uh, show in July. That's what he's hoping for. And 만약에 공연 계획 있으시면 SNS에 네. 올리시겠죠? 맞습니다. Yes. 그러면 애슐리도 홍보를 해 주시겠죠? <웃음> <laughs> <laughs> so please go follow him on social media and go subscribe to his channel and look forward to his magic show this year, hopefully. And we're going to say goodbye with the last song, Magic Carpet Ride by Chao Rim. And thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. 정말 감사합니다, 여러분. 감사합니다. 감사합니다.